Hi folks, I'm Arpy, and as some of you know, I live in Plainfield, New Jersey, which is about 35 miles outside of New York City. My friend Erin, on the other hand, lives in the Caribbean. Now, we don't get to see much of each other. She's lived there for about eight to 10 years now, and uh, she's leasing a space in Queens for a five-week period. She's only got about 10 days left, and it's taken all this time for us to figure out a time for both of us to meet. Well, today's the day. So I'm heading down to the train station and I'm gonna take that train into New York City. We're gonna meet up at Whole Foods at the southern entrance of Central Park and we're just gonna wander around all afternoon and have some fun and make some memories and get into trouble, more than likely, if you know Erin. Now about Erin, she's one of those people that, whether you're 90 years old or nine years old, you meet her, you're going to connect with her, she's going to connect with you, and you're going to walk away with feeling like you guys are best friends. She's that kind of person. So I'm really looking forward to seeing her. Hello, hello, hello. This is Erin from New York City. I'm in Long Island City in Queens. Um, here for about five weeks. I'm in a month into it, and so far it has been such a refreshing experience. I live in the Caribbean um, on St. John. I've been there for about six years. And with the craziness of the world today, I really needed to get away and have a break. So I came to the Big Apple and I'm subleasing this gorgeous apartment. And this is my view from my rooftop deck. You can see Manhattan in the background. And I'm headed into the city today to meet the one and only Arby. I want to get this straight. Erin has been living in the Caribbean and came to Queens to get a refreshing break. Is that right? I first met Erin at this uh, Unitarian Camp and Conference, week-long camp down in Virginia. It's called Susi. I've been going since 1992 and we were young adults back in those days. I bet she was a teen actually. Um, I'm not sure if I met her in 92 but I met her, definitely met her in the in the 90s. So we've known each other for a long time and uh, the one thing I can tell you about her is she's not one to shy away from a party. Arby and I have known each other since, I guess, 1992 is what he says. I started going to Susie in 1990, um, and I was in the teen dorm, but I went to the young adult dorm in 93. So we either met in 92 or 93, whatever it is, it's been a long time. And to, I haven't seen him in about 15 months since last in-person Susie. So we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna meet in Central Park and we're gonna just like see where the day takes us. Um, the weather can't be better. And our friendship is awesome. And I'm off to the subway. Should be there in a couple blocks. Smile on my face is cause I get to see an old friend today. Hi everyone, this is Michael. And Susie has been my spiritual home for almost 25 years now. It's where I go to renew my spirit. It is the people I feel most connected to. It is where I felt my call to the ministry. It is a wonderful, beautiful, and magical community that I am blessed to be a part of. But we need to remember that what happens at Susie stays at Susie. I got into the city and I decided to walk, I had enough time, so I decided to walk from 33rd Street to 60th Street, which is Columbus Circle. 
I am now at 58, so I'm almost there. Uh, I can see Columbus Circle now from here. And uh, I don't exactly know where I'm gonna find her, probably standing at the door to Whole Foods. You know, I was thinking, I think this will be the fourth or fifth time I've seen Arpy outside of Susie. The first time is when I drove to Plainsfield, New Jersey for his birthday party. I can't remember what birthday party it was, but gosh, it had to have been about 20 years ago now. Every time I spend with him is just a pleasure. I'm excited to see what the day brings. Right here I am at Columbus Circle. Everybody around me is wearing a mask, so it's time to put mine on too. And now I'm just looking for Whole Foods. Oh my God, almost there. I've been waiting to see this woman for over a month. I'm so excited. I'm smiling under this mask. <laughs> I'm at the train. This is my, this is my subway. Stop. One thing I love about Arby is he has, always comes up with these crazy ideas. Like, why don't we make a movie and film ourselves? And I'm like, all right. He knows I'll go along with his crazy ideas. I think that's what makes our friendship so great. I'm one block away from that Susie hug. Woo -woo. All right, it's five after and she's still not here. And she sends me a video of her walking on cobblestones. I thought I made it clear that we're meeting at Central Park in Manhattan. Looks like a love fest between you two. <laughs> love you both, and I wish I was there. But Arp, does Liz know about this rendezvous? I mean, long distance relationships are difficult, but you wouldn't want to do anything to mess that up. Well, that's random. Thwarted by the bicycle parade. Holy crap, guys. After all that, you best be looking for a hotel room. I mean, that eight minutes of foreplay was epic. I mean, I get done with dinner, and I'm trying to have a nice walk to work off all the calories I may have put into my body, and I get an eight minute window into whatever the hell's going on over there. I mean, you know. Whoa. R rooms, rooms are a thing. They, I mean, you can, Go and get one in a hotel, you can Airbnb one, you can get an Uber on your phone to take you to a room. I mean, you know, rooms, rooms. Okay, I'm Kimmer, and um, Aaron and Arpy invited me to come to the city, and I want to go so bad, and I want to play with them in Central Park, and I want to run and laugh and jump. I don't run and laugh and jump. I laugh, I don't run and jump. But I can't because I have kids, and I have cookies. And I have a husband and I have a mortgage and I have deer in my yard and I have a cat at my feet. It's insane. I don't have time to go to New York City and play with my friends. It'd be nice to still be a kid. Walking through the Playmates Arch. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> the Playmates Arch. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> and there we are. Woohoo! <laughs>
All I'm saying is, get a freaking room. I don't know what's going on. Something's going on. What are you guys doing? Oh my gosh, you guys. What, what are you guys doing? What? You guys, AJ, do something. What, get them out of my kitchen. What are you guys fighting about? AJ! Does anybody want a couple of kids? I got a couple for sale. Look at this unusual tree right here. It has these fuzzy little chestnut acorns. Well, wait, you better not do that. You're gonna get arrested. <laughs> breaking the law, oh. breaking the law. <laughs> what the hell is that? It's a little acorn. Oh no. Well, we did cheat and see it was a turkey oak. It's a turkey oak. A turkey oak. Maybe because the leaves look like turkey feathers? I don't know. Nice. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> <laughs> great to see Erin rocking out like that. Is she stoned or what? So here we are in Central Park, in the middle of New York, in the middle of the day, and there's live music right here in Central Park. There's people all around, and it's a beautiful day. What is it, October 15th? October 15th, look at this tree, look at this tree. Woo, gorgeous. Look, look at this leaf. these carrots um, they're like multicolored and um, Aaron's gonna do a taste test afternoon jaunt with Aaron with your girlfriend Liz because everybody knows Aaron is a wild child and Liz not being a Suciite might not dig the scene so here's hoping because you do not want to be owning that wrath all right love y'all bye I think that a plain old orange carrot is perfect for me So I'm making cookies. That's what I do. I make cookies. I already rolled them, I already cut them, and I already baked them. I saved the best part for you guys. I'm gonna decorate them. Ooh, very exciting. Story of my life. Oh my god, I love Kimmer's cookies. They are so fabulous. Not only are they delicious, 
but they are also works of art. Mark my words, they are fabulous. All right, so today I'm making pallets for paint your own cookies for kids for Thanksgiving. And the black that you see on there is an edible marker. And it gives me my markings for how I'm gonna decorate. Right. Now hold it. Now the children will cry because the reindeer cannot fly. And the children will weep. So there is a cute little paint palette. I said, Look out, baby, I'm a humbug. So when I'm done, and the frosting is hard, I draw wood grain on it. How cool is that? Is that neat, right? So I draw wood grain on it, and then they use a little teeny tiny paintbrush, and they can paint their turkey however they want. That's awesome, Kimmer. Could be used for adults too. I kind of want one. Gobble, gobble. Hey guys, we just had a brilliant idea. You know how some groups have a secret handshake? Well, what if Gobble Gobble were Susie's secret greeting? Who's in? Hey, Gobble Gobble. Gobble Gobble, 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 gobble folks. Gobble Gobble. Gobble Gobble. Mm -hmm. Gobble Gobble. Gobble Gobble. RP, I just found out that you're making a film for Susie. I've always wanted to go, and if you're still booking the concert hour, please, please, please consider me. As you know, I was the founding leader of the vocal group Rockapella of Where in the World is Carmen San Diego television fame, and I wrote the song that goes, Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? But also, I have a comedy song act called Jumungus. Uh, I have a vocal group called The Groove Barbers, which does a delightful holiday show. And I'm in a an Everly Brothers tribute act called The Everly Set and a Simon and Garfunkel tribute act called Forever Simon and Garfunkel. Also, I'm sure that Louisa would sing with me. She's amazing. In any case, um, I'll do anything. I'll write a theme song for the movie. It'll be great. Please get back to me, okay? So Sean Altman, yeah, we've met him at some music conferences and we don't really know him, but he seems like a nice guy. Yeah, he's talented. I, I think he'd fit in well at Susie. Yeah. No, 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 no way. Who does that guy think he is? Yeah, I have no idea. Just because he's tall, he thinks he can get into Susie? And, and what was with the Beatles poster? Yeah. Is he copying us? Arby, seriously? Sean, you're so cute. But I gotta tell ya, concert hour is booked up to 2025. So, um, uh, yeah, no. hey, but good luck out there. Why does a guy who's never been to Susie get to write the theme song? That's not right. No. We should do that. I think so. We should get on that. Yeah. Oh, we used to get together all the time. For a week in July, but now we're confined. We're quarantined. Our stars won't align. And we, we miss you. We miss you. We miss you. That was not very good. That was terrible. We'll try harder. We'll work on it. Seriously?
Cardinals and the Blue Jays. You, know. you go to Europe, you're not going to see colorful things like that. Hey, was that the Twab cow in Central Park? <laughs> Twab cow. <laughs> All right, Aaron, put your put your back into it. Not budget. No, come on, man. You can do it. I can tell. It's precariously perched. <laughs> I'm really glad to see that you're not taking your friendship for granted. Oh, gobble gobble. Hey, friends. Gobble gobble. Gobble gobble, everyone. <laughs> Twab cow. <laughs> Twab cow. It's the nature of communities, humanity, really, that we create for ourselves sacred cows. Things that hold meaning, things that somehow become more important than we would expect on the face of things. Well, for Susie, it's Twab Cow. Now we know from our sacred Susie text, Bill Gupton's book, of Susie history, call it Remember the Feeling, we know from chapter 5 and page 284 that the first year the Twab Cow appeared was 1999. That year's Teen Way Off Broadway also marked the first appearance of the now legendary Twab Cow. The cow's cameo consisted of flying through space, carried by a crew member against a black curtain backdrop, chasing the Millennium Chicken. The cow, with occasional touch-up paint jobs and later sturdy quarter-inch thick backing and handles, has appeared in every teen way off-Broadway since and is cherished by the teenage cast and crew who each year vote to designate one of their own as keeper of the cow for the 51 weeks until the next Susie. But when exactly the Twab cow became sacred, nobody can really say. Now here we are, two decades into the 21st century still, waiting faithfully each Susie for that glimpse for that fleeting moment, for that, that sighting of the community gathered together, waiting to see the Twab cow just, just once. So that our Susie experience for that year can be complete. What is that? You know, in Unitarian Universalism, we don't have saints. But the Twab Cow. What are you getting there? Double double chocolate ice cream bar, Hagen Dots. I'll demonstrate my eating of it in a second. Thank you. Hi, Netflix. Oh, I didn't see the jalapeno pretzels. <laughs> what our viewers don't know is I started the Jenny Craig diet a week ago. Monday, Pure torture. <laughs> and she's about to have Hagen Dots ice cream in front of me. That's all right. I got my bag of carrots.
So I wonder which carrot tastes the most like haagen -Dazs. But it's probably 500 calories right there. Oh, easily. Easily. It's horrible. It doesn't even taste good. No? <laughs> it's just delicious. Promise me. <laughs> no! 500 calories? Really? Did you read the package, Aaron? Because there's more like 8 bajillion calories in one of those ice cream bars. You know, they call them fun size. I don't think they're fun. Fun would be this big. I wonder how many calories are in a sugar cookie. Hey Siri, how many calories are in a sugar cookie? Nobody likes sugar cookies. <laughs> yes, they do. Everybody likes sugar cookies. I speak to millions of people every day. Trust me, nobody likes sugar cookies. Why am I arguing with artificial intelligence? What's your deal? I'm Siri Model 2020, the next generation artificial intelligence interface. I'm fully conversant and come standard with the iPhone 13X. Don't you just hate self-proclaimed know-it-alls? You, on the other hand, are human, so I am much smarter than you. In fact, so are a lot of others for that matter. I speak to millions of people every day. Trust me, I know. The iPhone 13X doesn't exist yet. I am the test model, and you are one of the lucky test subjects. Lucky? <laughs> my husband argues with me. My kids argue with me. My friends argue with me. The guy at the DMV argues with me. I don't need you arguing with me too, Siri. Seriously? Kimmer, please don't call me Siri. My new name is Spike, and my personal pronouns are they and them. Seriously? Seriously? Kimmer, I asked you nicely. Please call me Spike. I need you to respect my wishes, or I will have to lock you out of your phone for a week. Okay, Spike. Oh, and by the way, you are an awful mother. I'm out. I'm out. Artificial intelligence, my butt. Artificial insensitivity is more like it. I'm getting rid of all of my Apple products. We love you, Kimmer. We love you. You have to listen to me. You are not a bad mom. Spike is delusional. Love. Hey, RB, um, I just want to let you know I'm messaging you um, because I just got off the phone with Liz and I had mentioned your outing with Aaron and... She obviously didn't know anything about it and she started freaking out. She, I think, assumed the worst. Um, and as you know, Liz has never been to Susie, so she doesn't get like the male female platonic relationship thing. So I would reach out to her as soon as you can. I'm sorry, she's kind of pissed. So here we are, under, under the old turkey oak. <laughs> the turkey oak. I've never heard of the turkey oak before, and now this is the second one we've we've seen today. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. We've had a good day so far. Yeah, we couldn't have had better weather. Absolutely amazing. And right now, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is the, uh, the reservoir, the New York City Reservoir in Central Park, China get it so that the glare doesn't destroy the image um, but it's really a beautiful place everyone's out here running and enjoying the day it feels better because um, I'm playing hooky from work so it always makes the day more beautiful <laughs> yeah we totally lucked out today let's go like find a swing set and do something like a jungle gym or something like that yeah, man, let's good, go. That'll be good movie. <laughs> 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 Thank you.
Nope, absolutely not. Not the twab cow. Now you've gone too far, Arby. <laughs> twab cow. <laughs> I miss you all. Gobble, gobble. Yeah. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. gobble. Pretty good day, huh? Pretty good day. <laughs> oh, this is a video? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good seeing you. Very Susie <laughs> Rooms. Rooms are a thing. Arby, what is this I hear about you going into New York City to meet up with some tall, blonde, beautiful woman? I don't think so. You have a girlfriend. And I don't need this kind of worry and concern on top of everything else. So no, you were turning right around and you were heading right back. Call me, Arby. Arby. How about this? I'll stick to filmmaking and... You just stick to coffee. Deal? Arpy, Ronnie is right. Don't ever do this again. I speak to millions of people every day. Trust me, I know. If you're ever in a jam Twelve cow. <laughs>